Hello, I'm here to show you how you can manage your RFIs in the Spitfire Project Management System. I'm in a project dashboard and I'm going to get a new RFI document started because my electrical subcontractor has a concern. I'm going to look up the name of that subcontractor from a pre-existing list because he's already in my system. And then I can also look up the name of the person who's going to take care of this issue, in this case Nick York, my architect. Great. Once I have my names, I save the document, and you'll notice that based upon predefined rules, the individuals who need to receive and review this document have been automatically added to the distribution list. Next, I'm going to add the email that Jason, my electrical subcontractor, sent me to this RFI document. I'm just going to click on that to open up this tool, and then I'm going to go open up my Outlook and get the email. Once I have things lined up, I can just drag and drop that email right into the Add Files tool. And then a click of this button and I'll attach it to the RFI document. Great, here it is. The email is now attached to the document and thus permanently archived in the system. Even if this email is completely purged from Outlook in the future, it will always be part of the Spitfire catalog and can remain attached to this RFI. And right from here, I can click to open up the email and then I can copy the text from the email to paste it into my document. Here's the text. Let me just grab that, copy, and close. And then I'm going to go over to my RFI document and paste that as the info required. Once I have my information on my document, it's easy enough to click this little thumbs up icon to release the document and send it to Nick York via email. Let me close this document and then take a little pause while I wait for that email to come in since I'm pretending to be Nick York. Okay, I'm back with the email that came to Nick York. You can see that there is both a formal copy of the RFI in PDF format and a copy of the original RFI that came via email from Jason. And from this email I can open either. For example, let me open up the PDF. Here it is. I can read through it and I'm going to just close that back up and I can reply to this Outlook email the way I usually do. Hit reply and let me type a response. And then I just hit send and my email will go back to Spitfire. So while that happens, I'm going to take another quick short pause. Okay, so now Nick's email has been automatically attached to the RFI and the RFI has been sent back to Chris Demo. So now as Chris Demo, I can easily find it in my Spitfire inbox. Here it is and I can just open it up right from here and then I can see the email that came from Nick York. Again, this email is now permanently archived in the system regardless of what happens to the email in Outlook. And I can click on here and look at it and open it up just like I did before, but I can also go over to the response field and see that his response is been, has been copied over here automatically. Once I'm done reviewing the RFI, I can again go and click this thumbs up icon and send the document over to Jason, who will receive an email of the completed RFI from the Spitfire system. And that's it. That's basically the RFI workflow. If you have information, would like more information, have questions, sign up for a free demo from our website. And thank you so much for watching.